Right, as you probably know, after reading the title of the video and seeing the news break, Gary Rowett has been announced to return as Blues manager on a temporary basis until the end of the season, I believe. I might have to get the details of that and double check it, but that's what I think it is. What do I think? I think it's good news. The owners should have probably done that as soon as Mowbray went off sick. But, you know, we can all say things in hindsight. They didn't do it, but they've done it now. Better late than never. And at least it's not too late. At least we're still outside the relegation zone. Um, as for Gary Rowett himself, what do I think? I think he's, he's a consistent manager. You know, he's not, he's not Pep Guardiola. He doesn't play particularly attractive football or anything like that. But what he does do is he offers consistency uh, in a time where we need it badly. Uh, obviously, when he was manager here before, we finished 10th two seasons in a row. And yeah, obviously we never went up or anything like that, but that's not our concern at the moment. Our concern now is to stay in the league um, again. And he can definitely do that, I feel. A bit harsh on him if he does do a good job and then he has to leave for Mowbray to come back. But obviously he's accepted that and it is what it is. But I think it's a good, good fit at the moment. He knows the club. He knows the fans, he knows the infrastructure, and I'm sure the staff here that he knows from his time here previously. I think the only player that's still here from his time was, well, yeah, it would be Jukovic, uh, but he's injured anyway. So that's not a factor, but the fact he knows the club and he knows what it's all about, and he has performed here before under pressure. I think it's it's a smart smart move. People were talking about Warnock. Yeah, I think Rarit's a better option here, but beggars can't be choosers. So we take what we can get. We've got a manager. That's all that matters. Let's push on and get enough points to keep us in the league. And then hopefully we can rebuild big time in the summer. But up the Gary Rowett. Yes, Stephen. Let's get your thoughts then. Tell me, are you happy with Gary Rowett coming back as Blues manager? Yeah. yeah. Um, well, I think I could talk for ages about Rowett. And I, I can't make up my mind sometimes. I'm like, did he do a good job the first time or... Did he just overachieve a bit? Because he's never really done anything else since he left. Um, that being said, the first time he managed us, we had non-league players. And other than Damari Gray, who still ain't gone on to achieve much. You know, he played a bit in the Prem, like pff, probably more than this current lot will achieve. But uh, yeah, Rowett did a good job the first time, overachieved. But let's face it. He was flirting with other clubs and for that reason, look, I love Rowett returning. You stand with me and you know I'm the first one going in with Gary Rowett, your football is shit. Gary Rowett got sacked because he's shit and all of this. Uh, but I'm going to be fickle as fuck and we're going to go to QPR away next week, a week after, whenever it is. And I'm going to back him to the hills because I think he'll have the fans on side and without trying to sound too much like John Eustace, He'll get us, he'll get the togetherness we need and he'll keep us in the league, I think. Um, I think the one thing we have got to be careful of is let's not now, if Mowbray don't work, we need to go in and get another good, exciting manager. But once Rowett has kept us up, because I think he will, our fans will be going, let's get Rowett in, let's get Rowett in. Nah, no, mate, no. Rowett's not going to be the man to take us to the Prem. Um, is it'll it'll keep us up. It'll do a job. It'll get the club together, the fans together. And you might have a bit of better atmosphere at St Andrews for the next two games because everyone's singing from the same hymn sheet. And for him, sorry, hang on, I gotta move. But for him, it's a massive opportunity to get the um to get the fan base on side. Like he's got the majority of the fan base on side, but then there are people like me that think. Nah, he weren't really that great a manager. Um, he achieved, overachieved for what we had, but he finished 10th twice. And I know, I think you told me actually, there was an interview where he said, oh, yeah, yeah. I can't get this current squad above 10th, which, yeah, you can understand it. But actually, if that's the limit of your ambitions, I can't get them above 10th. Look at that Luton team that is now in the Prem. That is shit. Yeah, exactly. Let's face it. Let look at that team that actually got promoted to the Prem. It's even worse, mate. So, yeah, I think Rowett will keep us up, and I think sorry, fucking somebody me on. I think Rowett will keep us up. I think we'll get promoted. I think we'll get promoted under Mowbray. That's my prediction. But yeah, Gary Rowett, I'm happy with it. 
We need to do a job now. The longer the season's gone on, the more worried I am about getting relegated. Uh, so the longer the season goes and the closer we get to that drop zone, I just, yeah, get Rowe in, get him in, sort it out. Yes, Sharky. Obviously, with Tony Murbury's illness, thoughts go out to him. Hope he's back soon. But Rowett's taking over. Do you think Gary Rowett can keep us up this season? All right, Reese. Um, first and foremost, um, thoughts go out to Tony Mowbray and his family. Hopefully, he's on the mend and we'll see him down the blues again soon. Um, do I think Rowett will keep us up? My honest opinion, now would be the right time international break. Give us a week and a half, two weeks, see what he can do uh, before we go again because we've got a good run of games. You know, ones that I think we'll win, some we won't win. And, you know, we need to nick a point here and there where we can. Um, you know, it's not going to be pretty football. It'll be 4 4 2, I reckon. We can overload the wingers using Miyoshi, maybe bring Keshi Anderson back into the team and that get the ball in the box. Don't know how Luka Zhukovic is going to be out for with his injury. Hopefully it's not too long or bad because you can always rely on him. Um, you never know. Um, we might end up br uh, bringing in Clayton Donaldson, <laughs> you know, for old time's sake, get him on the phone. Um, but yeah, I'm willing to try anything, to be honest with this. So that's my honest opinion. Uh, but fingers crossed, something comes together. And we stay up because, I mean, looking at the table, I think we've only got two better on goal difference. Um, but, yeah. No, well, like you said, we're too close to the relegation zone now. It's it's another relegation battle. So, hopefully it works and we'll see. But we'll find out at QPR. Thanks, Sharky. Cheers for coming on, mate. All right. Nice one, mate. Have a good break anyway. And I'll see you after the international. Yes, Sporo. How are you, mate? You all right? Yeah, I'm good. Thank you. Good, good. My question to you is, do you think Gary Rowett can come in and make these players perform in such a short space of time, players that aren't his? I think yes, for many reasons. Well, firstly, a new manager bounce. Most teams, when they get a new manager, they get that momentum from the from the very beginning. So I feel like that's something that we need and that's, I think that's something that we're going to get. Uh, second reason would be is like Gary Rowett, he has unfinished business at Birmingham City. Um, back in 2017, the fans want that closure of what happened. And yeah, he's got unfinished business, so I think he's gonna, he's the man for the job and he's gonna do it with passion. Uh, another reason would be, he's a defender. So he can make us tighter at the back. And, uh, with the good attackers that we have got, I think he's got the knowledge to help us defend. We've got teams like Leicester coming up, Preston, both are brilliant attacks. I feel like he's the man we need to help us tighten up at the back and uh, keep the defence solid. And uh, an another reason, the crowd love him. The crowd love him. We're, we're, we're going to be shouting Gary Rowett, supporting him. He's going to keep us up. I already know this. Uh, another reason, yeah, he's got connection. Sorry for the disruption. Yeah, I was saying he's got con connection with the fans and uh, he wants to keep a good reputation. I feel like this is a good way for him to do that. And uh, yeah, I oh, think uh, I see a lot of light in this and I really hope it does work out and I believe it will work out. So come on, let's do this. We're Birmingham. Let's get out of this relegation scrap and let's focus on next season and get into playoffs. Come on, subscribe to BCSC Block 39. This is the best channel on YouTube. Come Cheers, on, mate. Right, so you've just heard the opinion of a few Blues fans there, Block 39ers. Let us know your opinion if you're a Blues fan. If you're not a Blues fan, what do you think? The right appointment, a bad appointment for whatever reason? And do you think we'll stay up? More importantly, comment below, click like, click subscribe, and I'll see you on the next vlog, which will be QPR away. Thank you for watching.